Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Adam Schaefer. And back by popular demand, we have another video for you guys regarding creatine. Creatine for sure is the most widely studied supplement out in the market and by far probably the best supplement for performance. So Sal's gonna dive real deep for you guys into creatine, the pros, the cons about it, also potentially how you might wanna cycle it. You guys know here at Mind Pump that we're always pushing you guys towards whole natural foods first and making sure you're meeting your daily needs and requirements nutritionally through whole foods before ever even reaching towards performance type supplements. But those of you that have your diet in training dialed in. There are supplements out there that we do recommend for these people. Creatine happens to be one of those supplements that is well studied, researched, and has some serious benefits to it. Sal gets in that. He also discusses one of the supplement lines that we recommend to you guys, that's Legion. You guys can find the Legion products at buylegion.com forward slash mind pump. There'll also be a link in the bio below. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If it helps you guys out, please share, like, and subscribe. All right, so let's talk about creatine. I get asked all the time about this extremely popular muscle building supplement. Now, I, I remember when creatine first came onto the scene, it was like in the mid, I wanna say early to mid 90s, and it blew everybody away because it was a supplement that actually worked. I mean, the first time I took it, I think I was 16 years old. I remember taking this supplement, and um, up until that point, I had tried supplements and gotten nothing out of them. And it was the first time I actually felt myself get stronger the gym. I think I added like five or 10 pounds to my lifts within a week and then was pretty consistent after that. Now, creatine is easily one of the most widely studied supplements uh, that's out there. I think there's something like over a thousand peer-reviewed, uh, you know, research, uh, uh, you know, or, or studies that have been done on creatine. And all of them have found that there's actual benefit. Now, you may know about the muscle building uh, benefits of creatine, but a lot of people don't know that there may be some benefits to the heart. If you're a vegan, uh, you may benefit quite a bit from eating, uh, from taking some creatine because you may not be getting much of it from your diet. Um, if you're aging, they notice the, some cognitive boost from taking creatine. So what is creatine? Let's talk a little bit about what it is and, and, and how it works. Creatine increases the amount of ATP that you have in your body. Now, ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate, and this is an energy that is used by every cell within the body. When you take creatine uh, in supplement form, you increase the amount of ATP that's in your body, so your cells have more energy. Um, and for athletes, this means your muscle cells have more energy, and you'll notice you have more strength. Now, there are some side effects where you do gain some weight while you're on creatine, but it's not bad. Uh, this is a cell volumization effect that people get from creatine that actually also contributes to muscle building as well. And what happens is because the muscle has more ATP, it draws in more water. So your muscles become bigger with more water. You look on the scale, oh wow, I've gained, you know, two to five pounds. Now this isn't the same thing as being bloated. Bloated is water that's outside of the muscle. Water inside the muscle is not a bad thing. Uh, think of, your, if, if, of, of a balloon. If you blow up a balloon with more air, it looks bigger, more full and tight. And since our muscles are made up with, of like something like 73% water, it's not really a bad thing. Now, long term, they show that creatine, this effect, I should say, this cellular volumizing effect, does increase or speed up the rate of what's called mul muscle protein synthesis. So your muscles actually build faster and recover faster as you stay on creatine. It's one of the only supplements that I recommend that most people take. Now, not all of you will get great results taking creatine. Most of you will, but some of you may notice abdominal cramping or stomach cramping, diarrhea, or you may just be what's called a non-responder where you take the creatine, you get nothing out of it. And that'll be about 10, I think studies will show about 10% of people get, don't necessarily get great uh, benefits from taking creatine, but most of you will. And it's something that I think most people should probably supplement with if they're gonna supplement with anything at all, just because of its effects. Now, a lot of times people ask me what type of creatine they should take. Good old fashioned creatine monohydrate. That's the one that's been studied for a long time. That's the one that's in most of the studies. There's lots of other versions of creatine that are out there. And I think this is just supplement companies attempts to latch onto the coattails of the popularity of creatine and try and introduce something that's different and say it's better and charge more money for it. When in fact, the studies show that nothing outperforms good old fashioned regular creatine monohydrate. One of my favorite brands of creatine is Legion. 
They have a product called Recharge, and they have creatine and, and L-carnitine tartrate in there, which is a nice combination that you can take um, either post-workout, even before workout. Now, that's another question. When do you, when you, should you take creatine? Studies show that once you build up those ATP stores in your muscle, it really doesn't matter when you take the creatine. Um, some people would say pre-workout might be the best time to take it. I personally just take it uh, in the morning. Again, I, I, don't, I haven't noticed a difference between taking it before my workouts or just taking it uh, sometime in the day. Again, once you get those ATP levels to kind of build up and you've got all this extra muscle energy, it's, you're not gonna get a, a, an extra benefit from taking creatine right before your workout because those levels are already kind of topped off. And once you hit a certain limit, you can't really uh, go above it. Um, another question is, should you cycle creatine? You know, some scientists will say, well, you know, you probably don't need to. Other people say it's probably a good idea. Here's my advice. I personally think it's a good idea to cycle anything that you take. Because your body produces creatine, it's not crazy to think that your body will produce less of it if you're supplementing with a bunch of creatine. Most of our body systems have this, this feedback loop where, you know, if I take testosterone, for example, my body will produce less testosterone. If I eat, if I eat a lot of cholesterol in my diet, my liver will produce less cholesterol. If I take something that dramatically increases my catecholamine production, the receptors that those catecholamine, catecholamines attach to will downregulate because my body's trying to reach some kind of equilibrium. I, I think it's a safe bet to think that your body will probably do that with creatine as well, where if you supplement with a bunch of it and get a whole bunch of creatine in your body, like you, do, like you will if you do take the supplement, um, that your body may start producing less of it on its own. So I think it's a good idea to take creatine for a certain period of time, three months, for example, and then go off for a month and then go back on. Or don't supplement with the amount that people recommend. I know no, most supplement companies will recommend about five grams a day, every single day. I get great benefits from taking five grams three days a week or taking something like one or two grams every single day. Um, I know I get at least a gram in my diet anyway uh, through uh, my consumption of meat because animal products do tend to contain creatine in them as well, especially red meat. Look, if you like this video, share this video with your friends, people who like to take supplements who you think may need more information on creatine. If you have any questions on creatine or any other nutrition questions, put it in the comments below. I'll visit periodically to try and answer those for you. And lastly, subscribe to this channel. We post new videos all the time.